Hi, Tim Plague here. I'm a scriptwriter and a filmmaker as well, and uh, I also own Projector Films. And uh, a few years ago, I put together something called The Scriptwriter's Life. We we'll still get asked to talk about this at uh, universities and uh, at various institutions across the UK. As I thought a video introduction might, might be a good idea. Uh, you can find out more at uh, www.scriptwriterslife.com and uh, what you'll find there is this diagram. Feel free to share it, use it in any way, print it off big. There's links where it can be printed off for you and sent on a big poster, whatever you want. Okay, so what's the point of this diagram? The point is to almost capture on a page what a fully rich scriptwriter's life looks like. So it doesn't look like just sitting down and writing, funnily enough, which is what a lot of people think. It's much a richer experience than that, and the work is more varied than that, if you actually want to be successful. Now, I'm not a big shake myself. I'm not pretending to be. But what I've found is the successful writers that I meet follow this method at some point. They probably do it almost subconsciously. But I've pulled together the traits that they have and put it in one place. Perhaps for people that are starting out or people that feel that their writing career's gone off a little bit, it's not quite on track. So as you can see, it's really about the balance of three big things. Those are the three circles. I'm gonna look at those one at a time quickly. Now you can see there's a lot of detail when you get down there. I'm gonna ignore that detail for now because this commentary is really just about the big picture. If you want to look at the detail, obviously get the website and print it out. So the green is story. And this is almost your story. Your skills is there for what I mean. This is a craft. This is doing the writing. This is what most people think about as writing. If you go on a writing course, this is what they would teach you. But look at that. That's really only a third of the things that you need to know about or the third of the things that you should be doing. The blue is about your dialogue with the industry. I've just used these words, of course, because they tap into our love of words as writers. But it's any kind of networking, it's any kind of industry communication, keeping in touch with the people out there that have the money, that would want your skills, any, any kind of two-way conversation. Now, the red is the interesting part because this is the bit that people forget about. It's a bit that there's not really classes about there's not it's not taught so much this red part and it's about yourself and it's about really how you need to spend some time at least thinking about your own inspiration your own philosophies of life the, the things that you love what do you like what don't you like reflecting on your work reflecting on the work of others that you like what can you draw from it exposing yourself to different types of inspiration you can see that there's overlap between these big circles, of course. So if you if you think about that lighter blue colour, pitching, you can see that that's about your story and your, your storytelling skills, but it's also about the industry, because it's in between the two. You've got to know your story, you've got to know who, who to tell it to. That kind of pinkish colour is about market knowledge. You've got to have a knowledge of the industry. you also got to have a knowledge of yourself to know where you fit into it. The yellow is that overlap between between your skills, your craft skills, the green, and the red of your own character, because it's about training. So it's about probably the things, you know, that you'd get on a course. It's a bit about yourself, but it's a bit about craft. In the middle is a bit that's not really ever talked about. I've had to almost invent a word for it, which is about gravity, which is about are people drawn towards your unique gift, if you like because that, that involves all of those things. You have to know what you're good at. You have to be able to do it, and you have to be able to tell other people. You get that right, and people are drawn towards you, and you've got that, that gravity. As I said, this is really just a whistle-stop to of those big headlines. Get online to have a look at what's the detail inside each of those coloured areas. Maybe you can think of some things that I've missed. If so, drop us an email. And, and how I like to use it is when I feel I'm going a little bit off, um, so recently, for instance, I've been doing quite a bit of, of work, so I've been all green, and I've been, I've, I have been sending out some emails, but I haven't had enough time to reflect and be inspired, 
So at the minute I'm on a bit of a red quest. And you can see what would happen, maybe we know people where they've got one of these out of balance. So for instance, if you've got none of that blue, you can see how you're going to be an interesting person who tells interesting stories, but no one knows about you. Let's look at another example. If you had no green, you'd know everyone and you'd, you'd know yourself. So in fact, you'd be kind of an arrogant person that, that can't do the job when it comes to it. And the last kind of disaster route that you might go down is that you've got no red. So that you've got some skills and you know some people, but really, you haven't got anything to say. You've got no new material, you've got no new message. No one's going to want to really kind of stick with you long term because you're just an easily replaceable person because anyone can do that. That's why it's good to have this out on your desk, on your desktop, or as a poster, anywhere really, just to kind of have a glance, check that you've got that balanced. I'm not saying that you should spend equal time in those circles, I think you've got to find your own and I think it's not about doing that each day but I think if you've got that imbalance somewhere across your working month even you, your success is going to come easier than if you didn't